All right, in this lesson, uh, we are going to be looking at how to turn this beautiful man, Chris Pratt, into a zombie. Uh, so he's in Photoshop at the moment, and we're going to be doing a lot of things to him, changing his skin, giving him some blood, making his skin look cracked, changing his eye color, etc., etc. So we're going to um, start that right now. So the first thing we're going to do is actually right-click on the background layer and duplicate the layer. And this just ensures that if we make a mistake, uh, we've got a backup, and that should help us. <clears throat> So there we've got a backup copy at the moment. Uh, next what we want to do is create a new layer. We want to start uh, putting, making his skin a little bit palish, dead skin looking. So we're going to make a new layer. So I'm going to right click. Actually no, I'm going to go down here and go to new layer. And I'm going to call this gray skin. And what we're going to start with here is just painting over his face uh, with a paintbrush. So pull out your paintbrush tool. And probably you will definitely want a hardness of zero. Uh, and then what we're going to be doing is choosing some sort of gray color. So if you look at my color palette here at the moment, I'm going to be choosing a color in the mid-gray tones. So this guy here. Uh, I'm going to zoom in. And you just want to cover up his skin. So not his hair or anything like that, but generally just his skin. Uh, you can cover up his lips or not if you want to, but I wouldn't cover up his eyes or anything like that. And it's going to look horrible at first. So I'm just going to uh, speed this process up here. Alright, so what you can see at the moment is I've got all of his skin covered in grey. Uh, what we're going to do now is go into the blending mode. So on, the, on uh, specific layers, you can actually go into the blending modes. And, and if we select the grey skin layer, you'll see it says normal here. We're going to actually change that blending mode into something called color. So that kind of blends in that grey color with the layer behind it. Uh, what you can see here is it looks a little bit too, it just looks kind of black and white. So another thing we want to do on the layer uh, selecting is to select the opacity and lower the opacity. That's going to make this gray skin. If I lower it to zero, you'll see it has no impact whatsoever. But if I make it right around, I'd say maybe 60, 65 percent or so, you're going to see that his skin kind of looks just pale dead, not straight up black and white. Not nothing, but uh, yeah, about 65%, 65%, 62%, whatever it happens to be. Uh, now he looks kind of pale skin. Now our next goal uh, is what we want to do is we want to merge the gray skin layer and the background copy. Otherwise, the next step, which is going to be putting burns onto his skin, uh, won't be that easy to do. So if you hold down Control, you can select both of these layers, right-click your mouse, and we're going to merge the layers. Okay. So next thing we want to do is add burns. After we duplicate this, so I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to duplicate that layer just in case we make a mistake. <clears throat> we want to add burns to them. So if, uh, if you ever see zombie things, zombie movies, they generally have uh, burn marks. It looks like they've been through some sort of apocalypse or something like that. So what the burn tool is, it's this tool right here. Uh, is it makes pixels darker. That's all it's programmed to do. Uh, what you're definitely want, going to want to do with the uh, burn tool is have a hardness of 0%, otherwise the burns look incredibly fake, and have quite a low exposure. In fact, I would suggest having an exposure uh, around 20% or so, so this exposure is already at 20%. And uh, you want a tool, I don't know what size, you can play around with that a little bit. But uh, the burns I'd put around the contours of his face to make it look realistic. So we're, uh, what you're going to see me doing here is just making parts of his face darker. So I'm going to speed this part up. Alright, so as you can see, he's kind of got burns. I, I made his uh, eyes around the contour, his eyes, nose, his temples, his forehead. Uh, jawline, etc., a little bit darker, so that looks more like he's been through some sort of apocalyptic burn or something like that. So uh, we've accomplished making his skin a little bit paler. We've accomplished the burns. Uh, the next thing we want to do is work on his eyes. So we're going to make his eyes zombie red in this case. But you can play around with a lot of things here. Uh, we're going to make a new layer, and we're going to call it eyes. So we're going to do something very similar to what we did with the skin. 
uh, except we are going to use a red color and we're still going to use the same blending mode although you can do a variety of things so uh, if you wanted to make your zombie eyes white and kind of glazed over you could just play around but uh, I'm just going to pull out the paintbrush tool I'm going to select a color that's kind of red and I'm going to cover up and paint over making sure my eye layer is selected I'm going to paint over the irises of his eyes okay and you want to make sure you don't uh, go over the eyelids on him otherwise when we use these blending modes later it's gonna look pretty fake <clears throat> so I've made the irises of his eyes red and at the moment you'll notice that if I zoom out this looks incredibly fake it looks like a painted red on his eyes so we're gonna do a similar thing uh, we're gonna go to the blending mode normal here and we're gonna change that one to color as well and if you want to lower the opacity just like we did with the <clears throat> with the skin you can see that that actually looks half decent so he's got red zombie eyes you could again do a variety of things you can even play around with all of these different uh, blending modes and see what that does to his eyes so you can see here the darker color kind of looks interesting <clears throat> oh you can see he's got blue eyes there so that's called the subtract I guess it does the opposite uh, but we're just gonna go with color and an opacity right around 40%. Again, you can choose what you want to do there. All right, so we've got the eyes, we've got the burns, we've got the skin. The last thing you want to do is work on making his skin look a little bit cracked and dry, and then also giving him some blood drips coming out of his mouth or eyes or something like that. So what I'm going to do here is do a Google search. I've done a Google search for Crackle. A couple things you want to ensure, since Crackle is a company, you want to ensure that uh, under the tools part of Google, you've done a black and white image search, and you're doing a high resolution image search because you don't want low resolution images. So uh, once you have black and white Crackle, I'm just going to take uh, maybe this one here and save it. <clears throat> you can then just drag that file over his face and it will create its own new layer so uh, at this point in time we can make whatever size we want to you could bring several crackle in if you want to I'm just gonna do this really uh, quite quickly and we're gonna use a blending mode on this so you can see this looks terrible at the moment uh, so the blending mode that we can use for the crackle is going to be one called darker color so that'll only keep the darker color and the white will disappear uh, another thing we're going to want to do just before we start erasing parts of this crackle that aren't on his skin is lower the opacity quite a bit because uh, Photoshop looks good if we're doing it subtly. So if I take the opacity on that crackle layer and I lower it to like, I don't know, 9, 10%, 12%, something really low, uh, what you'll notice is now if I zoom in, kind of looks like his skin is part of that crackle. But the problem right now is just I need to erase several parts of it. So if I pull up my eraser tool, at this point in time and you might need to rasterize the layer I can then erase first of all all the crackle that isn't even on his skin and also the uh, name there of the crackle I'm actually gonna get rid of it off his ear but here's where what you might want to do is pull out kind of a soft eraser brush and do some soft details so I don't think his eyes would be cracked at all uh, so I'm gonna get rid of that crackle on his eyes I don't think uh, I'm gonna have it look two-dimensional over his lips so I'm going to kind of erase that and you just kind of take your eraser and since it's got a, a low hardness to it you can erase parts of it that will just kind of add to the realism of it looking like it actually belongs on his skin and you'll notice in a second when I zoom out and you can get several crackles you can put some on his neck or do a variety of things uh, but if I at the moment zoom out it looks now like he's kind of got cracked dry skin and you can always erase more of it and do a variety of things. This kind of looks like he's got a little bit of cracked dry skin. Uh, last thing we're going to do is very similar to what we did with uh, the crackle. We're going to do a, a Google image search. So the last thing will be blood drips. Uh, if we do a Google image search for blood drips and in this scenario I'd probably uh, search for transparent. You won't have to do quite as much uh, as many selections and get rid of the white in the background if you choose transparent and you want a high res image. So I'm just going to uh, maybe sure let's download this guy here and you could take it and drag it right over his face you can see we've got some blood and then the last thing you do lots of things with this but the last thing you want to do is kind of place it where you want it I'm just gonna do a really subtle uh, blood coming out of his just for the sake of time uh, blood coming out of his lip maybe so if I just kind of move it let's say roughly here and then pull up the eraser tool and I can erase 
the parts of the blood that I don't want, that don't belong in this part of him. I just want it uh, looking like the blood's coming out of the corner of his lip. And you can spend a good chunk of time on this if you'd like to, but uh, for my sake, and you could even if you wanted to, uh, you could pull out the burn tool if you wanted to make that blood darker. So you can see here it's getting a little bit darker as I click. Uh, there's lots of things you can do. So if I zoom out, it now looks like he's got some blood coming out of his mouth. You can do it with his eyes in realistic places. You'll have a difficult time making it come out of his hair. Uh, but that's basically how to zombify yourself or zombify a celebrity. Um, that's it.